I'm Hog, this is The Dice, and unlike every other pop culture show on YouTube, I have a long and convoluted Rick and Morty fan theory. <coughs> Alright, this video contains spoilers for Rick and Morty. All of it. Why are you even watching this video if you haven't seen Rick and Morty? Just fuck off. Rick and Morty Season 2 ends with Rick in prison, and one of the main points of speculation about Season 3 online, other than when it's coming out. The answer is... They're trying it. Has been how Rick is going to get out of prison and who is going to break him out. One of the biggest theories is that Crumbopulous Michael isn't actually dead, that was a different Crumbopulous Michael in a different universe who died. Oh boy, here I go kill him again. Now, while the theory that K. Mike isn't actually dead and he died in a different universe makes perfect sense to me and I think that's very, very plausible, I don't see why he would be breaking Rick out of prison. They didn't seem to have much of a personal relationship, he just bought guns from him. Surely there's somebody else he can buy guns from. I, I, don't, I don't know why he... I, I don't see... I don't get the point. However, the alternate universe thing does give me some ideas. I don't think Rick is going to get broken out of prison at all. I think Rick has been falsely imprisoned and someone is going to prove it. In the wedding squanchers, bird person told Beth We have committed numerous atrocities in the name of freedom. During whatever war or whatever the hell was going on in their backstory. But the Rick that Bird Person was talking about is dead. Our Rick, Rick C-137, took over that dead Rick's place in that dimension after he died in an explosion in the episode Rick Potion Number 9. Which is something we get reminded about in the first Interdimensional Cable episode. It's possible, maybe even likely, that most versions of Rick and Bird Person in most dimensions did commit these atrocities against their version of the Galactic Federation. However, I have a feeling that crimes committed in another dimension might be a little bit outside the Galactic Federation's jurisdiction, and they probably wouldn't be able to legitimately prosecute someone for them. But let's say that the Galactic Federation can prosecute Rick C-137 for crimes that he committed in another dimension. I'm not entirely convinced that Rick C-137 committed these crimes at all in any dimension. In Rick Potion number 9, Rick implies that he's had to do this whole thing where he went to another universe where he was dead and took this place before. We, we, we are in a pretty deep hole here, but I do have one emergency solution that I can use that'll kind of put everything back to normal, relatively speaking. Here, Morty, put this on while I do a little bit of scouting. What about the reality we left behind? What about the reality where Hitler cured cancer, Morty? The answer is don't think about it. It's not like we can do this every week anyways. We get three or four more of these tops. He has goggles specifically for scanning the Ricks in alternate dimensions, which again we get reminded of in the first interdimensional cable episode. But more importantly, according to Beth, Rick has been missing for 20 years. But in close Rick counters of the Rick kind, when the Robo Rick is scanning Rick C-137's memories, we see memories of C-137 interacting with a baby Morty. If Morty's only 14 and Rick has been missing for 20 years, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't add up. I think it's possible that Rick C-137 never walked out on his family. He was there while Beth C-137 was growing up. He was there to see the birth of Morty C-137. He probably still had his adventures across space and alternate dimensions, but I would say he lived at home. And it's very possible that because of his living at home, because of his life where he was relatively happy with his family, his daughter, his grandson, that he didn't fight the Galactic Federation. He never committed these atrocities because he felt there was no need. As a result of Rick having never fought the Galactic Federation, however, maybe the Galactic Federation got to a point of strength where they got to Earth earlier than they do in the dimension where Rick is in prison. And maybe that ended up, through some set of circumstances, killing Morty C-137 and possibly 
Rick C-137's entire family, including Beth, Jerry, and Summer. So maybe Rick C-137 found another dimension where not only he was dead, but where his family didn't know he was dead. Uh, where his family was alive, and where the Galactic Federation hadn't yet gotten to Earth. This would help to explain Rick's apathy, his bitterness, and his deep distrust of government. Because Rick C-137 seems to distrust government even more than other Ricks. Just look at the way he interacts with the Council of Ricks in the episode Close Rick Counters of the Rick Kind. All the other Ricks, well most of the other Ricks, have formed a government for themselves to keep themselves safe. But Rick C-137 doesn't like it, doesn't trust it. Of all the Ricks in the central finite curve, you're the malcontent! Perhaps because he has a deeper reason and a more embittering reason to distrust the government. So what I think is going to happen is that Rick will have a trial, a proper trial, or there will be a hearing or, an, or something. And someone is going to come forth and prove that Rick is innocent of the crimes he is accused of because A, if he did commit these crimes, it was in another dimension outside of the Galactic Federation's jurisdiction. And B, probably didn't commit them at all. It was a different Rick. What do you think? Do you think this sounds in any way accurate? Or do you think I'm talking a load of horseshit? Please leave your comments, either one, I don't mind, down below. And I will read them. Because... That's how you get engagement on YouTube, and engagement is one of the keys to, to, to getting, you know, getting your videos out there, and, and maybe, maybe, maybe making a few schmeckles. Schmeckles would be nice. Please send me schmeckles.